guys, how are you? I'm excellent. It's been a while since I've made a video and I am here, I am back, and I am so excited to be finally able to make a video. I've been working on a few videos this past week for you guys to put up um, and so I just decided I should probably go ahead and do like a little life update for you also because um, it really has been a very long time. Um, so I know that you probably can't see, but I am in my dining room actually, and I just thought it would be kind of fun to do a video in another place other than my boring little lol computer room that I usually use, um, and I felt better about the lighting situation in here. So yeah, that's why we're in here. Um, I may show you guys later, uh, but I know you can't see it now, but there is a sign hanging over here, and it's a sign that says love and then behind me is an LED tree that I got for my wedding shower from a really good friend of mine. So yeah, I thought that would be kind of cool to use in my background. So yeah, that's that. Um, and I'm really sorry for my long absence. Um, I know I explained to you guys that I would be busy with a lot of things um, this summer, so that's where I've been. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to come and give you guys a little life update. So I'm not really sure where I left off in my videos, um, so I'm just going to start at the beginning of July. So July 3rd, I got to go to Evansville, it's my favorite place in Indiana, with my husband. We took my stepson and his sister to the airport and sent them on their way to Florida. So uh, they got to go to where I'm from for a couple of weeks, which was really nice for them. I'm kind of jealous because I kind of miss, I'm starting to get a little homesick for um, my town. Not really because I just want to go back and live there, but because I think it would be nice to go visit the beach again and see some of my friends that are down there and, um, you know, like my brother's down there. It would be nice to visit him and um, my in-laws and everything. My dad doesn't live down there anymore. He moved. So, um, yeah, I just think it would be kind of fun to visit. You know, I'm starting to get where I really want to go. So I'm kind of jealous that he got to go, but also I'm glad that he did some things this summer so but the same day that we dropped him off we went to um, this really awesome restaurant and we hung out with some of my husband's work friends and they were awesome I was I was really happy to hang out with um, some different people than we normally get to hang out with um, and also the restaurant we went to had a musician there who was pretty awesome. I don't remember his name, but it would be kind of nice to go see him again. And the pizza at this restaurant was amazing. So I really hope that we get to go back there. Uh, so then Independence Day, we didn't do anything. We just sort of laid around the house and watched movies because I am not an Independence Day fan. Um, I like the celebration of it as far as what it means and everything, but the actual celebrating that goes on, I've never really been fond of. Um, the last few years, we did go to a friend's house and celebrate there, which I spent most of my time inside their house as well. Um, but yeah, this year we just opted out of spending money and doing anything. We just wanted to stay home and relax and not really do anything. So that's what we did. And what else? So then July 5th, I actually started my CNA course. So that's what I've been busy doing for the past month is just working and doing my CNA course and um, it's kept me super busy. I've been really tired and exhausted. I haven't really had a lot of time to just relax and chill. So I wanted to tell you guys a little bit about the whole CNA course thing. So we had four classroom days and we had 11 or 12 clinical days where I actually had to like go on the floor and work with people. And I was really nervous about the clinical. I, I just, you know, it was something I thought that I wanted to do, but I wasn't exactly sure if I'd be good at it. And I, what I realized in working on the floor with these people is I am sure that there's going to be days where I just don't want to go to work, um, but it's really a career that I feel that I am excited about and that I want to move forward in doing. Um, I am so passionate about the residents that will be at my place of employment. I love them all. 
Um, some of them do come with their challenges, but most of them are just amazing people. <clears throat> You'll have to excuse me. Uh, I developed some kind of like a respiratory thing during the last month, and it does not want to go away. <coughs> <coughs> So it's pretty annoying. Um, what else can I tell you? So yeah, I've been really enjoying the CNA thing, and um, I just did my orientation for the job that I'll be working at, um, and then my big test to become an actual certified nursing assistant is August 26th. So if you guys keep me in your thoughts and prayers, that'd be great. I'm really nervous about that test. I am. Not really a great test taker. Um, more, I think, because I just get so nervous and I overthink things. So I tend to not do as well as I want to. But anyway, so that's that. Um, I met some amazing people. The other CNAs that I'll be working with are awesome. I'm really excited to be starting in a career where I have people who already treat me like I've been friends with them for years and um, I feel like we're kind of like a family. I am a little disappointed because I was going to take a full-time evening position there which would be like 1 to 9.30 p.m. or 1 to 10. <clears throat> but um, there was like a little snag, so I ended up having to take a day shift, which is actually 5 a.m. to 1 p.m. Um, and so I don't actually have as many friends on that shift as I did on the evening shift. Um, but, you know, hopefully this is a chance for me to make even more friends and get to know more awesome people. Um, <clears throat> I mean, I do know a couple people that I love to death on day shift, so that's the good news. Um, and also, because I'll be on day shift, it allows me to stay at my job at the YMCA, which I was really, really, really worried about because I feel like I'm finally in a good place at that job. I am comfortable with it. I love the kids that I work with, and I really didn't want to leave, and I was trying to figure out a way where I could stay, and now I get to stay. So, um, <clears throat> the schedule conflict is work, you know, there's disadvantages and there's advantages, and, you know, there's definitely reasons why I'd want to stay on the evening shift, but I think for now that, uh, God definitely has answered prayer, and this is where he wants me, and so I'm just going to do it, and I work my first shift this weekend, so, yeah, I'm super stoked so uh pretty much just did that and then i would also work so yeah between there were days where i was getting up at six o'clock in the morning going to the ymca at seven and opening uh, and just being with all my kids until like one and then i have to race over to the nursing facility and work until 9 30 p.m so <clears throat> there were a lot of 14 hour days and uh, a lot of me just being exhausted um but oddly enough i'm not as busy now since the cna courses ended and um also not working at the ymca and i feel like i'm more tired now than i was when i was just going 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 all the time so i'm kind of looking forward to getting back into like working both jobs and um, being busy so that I don't feel like I'm just sitting here being bored doing nothing. Not that I'm doing nothing because I'm still doing a lot of things at home but it's not taking up as much of my energy and <clears throat> I don't know, my body is weird. <laughs> so yeah, then let's see, my husband's birthday was July 9th so we had a nice little party for him with his work friends and friends here in town um, and that was an enjoyable thing. Um, <clears throat> His parents came to visit, so if they came to visit, then they went to a wedding in Chicago that we were actually supposed to attend, and we just didn't get to because of money. There's just a lot of really good things coming up that I'm so excited about that I can't wait to get my hands into. You know, I feel like I'm in a really good place in my life right now, and even though financial <clears throat> problems have arisen because of everything I feel like we're still in a really good place you know I'm excited to start this job I'm excited to be you know still working at the YMCA I'm excited about fall I'm so excited about fall this year now last year 
after summer, I was not really prepared for fall and winter. I wasn't really in the mood for it, which is kind of funny because I love cold weather, but last year I just wasn't feeling it. And I think a lot of it is because I was already depressed. I was having a really hard year that year. Um, <clears throat> you know, I was grieving over a friendship. I was grieving over the loss of my sister from the year before. And there was just so many hard things going on. I was, you know, planning the wedding and everything. And so when fall and winter came along, I was super depressed. But this year, you know, I'm, you know, I did something really good for myself. I've been working on my weight this year and I've been married almost a year. So things are really good. So I'm actually really looking forward to fall and winter this year. Um, I'm excited because my anniversary is in like a month and a half and I can't wait to celebrate my first wedding anniversary with my husband. Um, he gets to go to a huge concert called Riot Fest in Chicago, and I don't get to go. I'm really sad that I don't get to go, but he'll have fun with his friends, so. <clears throat> I know I'm, like, rambling on about everything, but I just feel like I haven't talked to you guys in forever, and I haven't shared anything that's going on, so, yeah, sorry that I'm taking your ear off. Um, but yeah, so that's all of that. That's, I'm just really looking forward to so much. Um, so, as far as my weight goes, I know that I was supposed to be doing a lot of weight update, weight loss updates, and I just haven't been doing good about updating you guys on that, um, but I also haven't really been good about maintaining it, um, <clears throat> well, maintaining, what I mean by maintaining is I haven't been maintaining, um, working out and eating like I, sh you know, I was and should be. Um, I just, it is really hard to be working and doing courses and working for those courses and trying to stay on track with your weight loss and everything. And I know that sounds like a big excuse, but it really was just like, I almost just had to say, you know, I have to focus on this right now. And then when I'm over this, I can focus on my weight loss. There was never a time where I was like, I give up on the weight loss. I don't want to do it anymore. I'm just going to eat whatever the heck I want. It was always in the back of my mind, you know, you need to eat, be eating the way you wanted to be eating, you need to be working out, but when you are done with your CNA courses and you <sighs> finally get to a, like, a normal place in your life, then you can go back to that. So that's what I'm doing, you know, and um, I am really excited, I really missed being in the gym, I really missed preparing my meals and um, eating the way I should be eating, and I'm really glad that I can finally get back into that. It's going to be a little hard because I like to get up, I like to do a Bible study, and I like to go to the gym and work out um, in the morning. <clears throat> and then sort of, you know, finish out the rest of my day with uh, everything else. But I feel like I will be able to come up with a new routine somehow. Um, I'll just be getting up at like 4 a.m. now, going to work at 5 a.m., you know, doing my shift, and then on days that I have to work at the YMCA, um, I can either work out in between, there's like an hour where I would be able to work out, um, or, <coughs> or I can work out after I'm done with the YMCA, which is not a bad idea, and on the days that I don't work, I can work out. I mean, I will figure it all out, I'm sure. I just, you know, I have to wait and see what my schedule's gonna be like, so. Um, I am planning to definitely jump back into all that, so. Yeah, things are really good. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I don't know what this respiratory thing is, like, I don't, I don't feel like I'm really, really, really sick. Like, I don't feel really bad. It's just like, initially I felt really bad, but now I can't get rid of the cough. And then sometimes I feel like I wake up sick all over again, like it's new. I don't know, it's really strange. I've been to the doctor, they haven't really said much. They, you know, I mean they were checking for my thyroid and they did tell them what was going on, but they didn't really seem to think it was a problem. So, about the thyroid doctor though, I remember uh, I made a whole video about my hypothyroidism and showing you guys the book and everything and telling you I had this appointment that was July 27th. Well, July 27th has come and gone. I did keep that um, <clears throat> appointment 
it was the same day that my best friend flew in from Florida. Um, and everything's really good. Uh, I do have to change my dosage. My thyroid was too low. And I know that sounds weird because you think, well, if your thyroid gland or thyroid medicine is making your levels too low, wouldn't they hire it? But it's kind of the opposite with hypothyroidism or hyperthyroidism. Um, if your levels are higher, they have to give you a higher dosage to lower it, but if you have really low levels, they have to give you a low dosage to higher it, if that makes any sense. So, um, I'm kind of nervous about changing it because I had maintained a really good weight and I don't think it's because I was eating like crap and not exercising. I think it really is because I was on this medication and I switched my medication from a name brand to the generic. Um, you know, all the changes I made I think are what have helped me maintain all the weight that I had previously lost. Um, I haven't lost any more, but I have maintained the weight that I lost. I'm nervous to get on a new dosage because I'm afraid it's going to make me gain weight. But we'll see. I will keep you guys totally informed about that whole thing. Um, my thyroid journey is a non-ending one, so I will always have updates for you guys as long as you're interested. Um, that's really all I have for you guys. I just wanted to give you this like little life update because it's been so long since I've made a video and um, checked in with you guys and I just wanted to let you know I'm still here. I did think about quitting YouTube. Um, it's been on my mind for a while um, because I really was questioning myself about like what the importance of me being on YouTube was and not that I don't enjoy being on YouTube but what was the importance of me getting makeup and showing you guys you know i never would show you guys everything that i was getting to make you jealous or to brag or anything like that it was literally because i liked to share it with you guys i know that when i watch some youtubers i love when they show hauls i love when they show what they've got and why they love it and you know when they do reviews of it so i was doing it too but i also feel like if it's really not important to me and then there's really no reason for me to do it and <clears throat> it's not to say that I won't ever do those again um but it was kind of a struggle between do I quit YouTube or do I just take a break and so what I've come up with is I really kind of miss doing those inspirational videos that I was doing before when I started this channel um, I wanted, you know, I named it Infinite Love for a reason because I wanted, you know, big love, infinite, unconditional love all the time. And the person that inspired that is actually Candy Johnson. So if you watch Candy Johnson's video, she is my main inspiration for this channel because I want it to be as loving as she is. And, you know, I don't know if I've done as good of a job at that as I really wanted to. <clears throat> But I really want to get back into doing those type of videos instead of just, hey, you know, here's all this makeup I bought, here's my favorite things, and, you know, blah, 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 you know, like, those, those are just probably overdone now. I mean, there's so many YouTubers out there, and so many wonderful YouTubers that are already doing all those videos. So I may still do things like that from time to time, but I don't want that to be, like, the main focus of my channel. So I... I'm going to probably figure out some more inspirational videos and that's what I really want to center this channel on again instead of the other stuff. So there's that and <clears throat> also I just really wanted to come on camera and tell you guys that I enjoyed the week that my best friend was here. We had a great time. We got to go to the zoo. Um, we had pictures made from a friend of mine. She did. I think she did a really great job. Um, she did show us one picture, and I want to put the pictures up, but I'm waiting for all of them. So, <clears throat> so we did that, and we got to do some shopping, and what else? We just did a lot of good, you know, we just caught up, you know. We don't get to see each other because she lives in Florida, and I live here. And she's got an awesome job, and I'll be starting an awesome job. So, um, it was just really nice to visit with her. So, hopefully, I get to go back to Florida and visit her next time. Um, as well as my other amazing Florida friends that I've missed. But yeah, we had a lot of fun. So 
that's it guys that's my whole update for july uh hopefully i get my favorites video up for you guys soon and then i can get uh the video that i made with my best friend up and from there i don't know where we'll go but you know leave me a comment let me know what kinds of things that you want me to do a video on if there's something that you have a question about that you want me to answer um something that you've been struggling with i would love to answer it just give me a holler i will be figuring things out if you like this video give it a thumbs up here's to wishing you guys infinite love i love you so much please hit the subscribe button and i will see you in my next video bye